Hello, my awesome PLS Virgos. I missed you, Virgo. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you had a wonderful and relaxing weekend. It's Monday already. Those weekends fly by too fast. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Virgo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life, and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Virgo. Extra message. Very important. Yeah, this is you heavily concentrating on business, finances, money, job, work, financial stability is very important to you moving forward. Yeah. Oh, so you are not with your soulmate right now. You've you endured a lot of heartbreak in that relationship. It looks like you've tried numerous times to make it work. You endured a lot of heartbreak. You're quiet. You really feel a great need to clear the air with your soulmate, but you're not reaching out. You decided it's futile, that it's, it's no use reaching out, that you're going to get the same results over and over again. Yeah, you view yourself as single, available, not in a relationship. As a matter of fact, it shows here that you are very good at what you do for a living. Whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it. You're very good at it. Yeah, this is you being financially independent. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you see, this is you wondering, are you going to have a relationship or not? You don't mind being alone because you would rather be alone than be in a toxic, frivolous connection that's draining you, that's exhausting you. Yeah, this is you looking at your life objectively, looking at the people in your life and figuring out who is authentic in your life and who is not, who you need to let go of and who you should keep in your life. In other words, please show us. What's coming up for Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, you walked away from this relationship. You walked away more than once and you gave it another shot over and over again, but you always got the same results. So you finally said enough is enough. This shows me that you're not happy with the people, uh, some of the people that you work with, that you want to walk away from whatever you're doing for a living because of certain people, not because of the job itself, because of the people. Major changes coming to your life. You really decided to let your soulmate go for good. You feel that it's uh, not going to work. You tried numerous times. You still care for this person, though. You still love them, but you see the cups are empty. Um, so you have endured a lot of emotional roller coasters in this relationship. Heartbreak, disappointment, sadness, sleepless nights. Ooh, who is this new soulmate? I love the new soulmate's energy. King of Pentacles, my favorite king of all kings in love readings, especially. Virgo, there's somebody approaching you or entering your life, whether you met them yet or not, that is... Uh, of high value when it comes to relationships, somebody who is reciprocal, somebody who communicates, somebody who makes a commitment, yeah, somebody mature, reliable, grounded, you see, king of pentacles, I'm loving this, because you're not clinging to this past relationship that became toxic, that broke your heart, you are allowing yourself to heal emotionally and make room for positive new energy blessings to enter your life that you are deserving, Virgo. I'm proud of you. You must please show us huh, what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey?
Yeah, you see, you want new beginnings in your life. You want something new, refreshing in your life. You want to feel energized again. You are alone. You feel alone. Sometimes you wonder if it's really meant for you to just be alone for life. It's not. Of course it's not. But sometimes you feel like you're trying to wonder why other people are in relationships and you're not. Honestly, it's best to be alone for a while than be in a toxic relationship. Um, we really don't know what's going on behind closed doors with other people, right? Uh, some of them really want to be uh, single, but are together out of financial obligation, family uh, contracts, right? Um, kids being involved. So yeah, we never know what's going on behind closed doors with people. Oh my goodness. So the person that lost you, that you let go of, feels a lot of guilt, regret. Yeah, they feel very sad, heartbroken, disappointed. You see, this is them unable to release you emotionally. For some reason, they're showing up as not expressing to you how much they love you, that they are emotionally vulnerable. Uh, they haven't been communicating with you. Ooh, so I'm loving the new soulmate's energy. Look at this, six of wands with king of pentacles. Six of wands, whoever this person is or will be in your life, will see you as very different from others, as someone of quality. And it's true because this is the minor arcana of the Empress energy. This new soulmate will see you as someone of quality, someone who is a catch in a relationship. You are still healing, Virgo. Give yourself time. Yeah, be patient with this healing process. Be fair with yourself. Let's see what's going on here. Then we're going to ask about the soulmate that you let go of, how they are currently in relation to you. But in the extended reading, we're going to ask about both of them since they both showed up. And was, please show us what's going on uh, with Virgo currently. How is Virgo doing? And uh, what's coming up for Virgo? Uh-huh. So this person of yours that you let go of wants to take action towards you. King of Wands is king of action. They want to be brave enough to approach you. Ooh, they do love you. Yeah, but this is hidden love. Yeah, unspoken love. They do love you. Mm. Yeah, I see, but they do recognize why you're not in their life because they didn't offer you anything solid. This person has been in and out, in and out of your life, not really communicating with you what to expect, how they feel about you, um, giving you silent treatments. Yeah, you see, that's what happens when uh, this is experienced in a relationship, it breaks up, you see, because this person has not been uh, present in your life. They've been more absent than present. Let's see what's going on with them. You know, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Virgo that Virgo let go of. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo? And how is this soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? I feel I need to shuffle more. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo. And how is this soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? They're waiting to see if you're going to do anything, if you're going to cool off, reach out to them. They're also analyzing this whole situation, trying to figure out how to proceed, what to do. Yeah, you see, they want to find balance in this connection with you. They really do want to find balance, which they didn't have. They do love you a lot. Yeah, they do. Queen of Cups. This person loves you a lot. Maybe they realized after they lost you, but they do love you. Yeah, you see, they want to manifest you back in their life, but they're scared. Yeah, you see, this is them wondering, is this truly over for good or is there another possible chapter? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo. And how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? Oh, there were some serious uh, heated discussions between the two of you disagreements, arguments of serious nature. This person is also concerned that there may be people in your life that don't want to see them back in your life. Uh, like they have to defend their actions from the past. Like they have to defend themselves 
uh, verbally prove themselves to you and people in your life. This person is concerned. They're checking up on you heavily through videos like this, private reading, social media, if you have any. They're checking up on you. Very closed off emotionally. They know that they may be at a final crossroads and they're going to have to make a decision. A or B, up or down, left or right. They need to figure out. They want to so badly communicate with you. They want to be fair. Yeah, they want to be fair in this situation. They want to proceed correctly. They don't want to make mistakes. Yeah, you see, they know for a fact they're in love with you. They love you. They recognize that now. The, oh, they're so heartbroken. One, two, three, three swords. This person is deeply heartbroken, but they don't realize how deeply it affected them. They not really uh, see it. They don't see it yet, how deeply it affected them emotionally. Uh, to lose you, you see, because these swords are separated from each other. Yeah, this person, they either don't want to see it or don't see it yet. Uh, how deeply it affects them emotionally to lose you. This person's hoping you're going to cool off, reach out to them first, but they know they're going to have to reach out to you, you see. So this is a serious connection for them with you. This person gives you a serious relationship. Yeah, you see, this person has a hard time initiating communication, expressing emotions to you, showing to you that they are emotionally vulnerable. They don't like to show they are emotionally vulnerable. They want so badly to clear things up between you and them. Yeah, you see, this means apologies, some kind of emotional offers, gestures. They're scared. This person is very scared. Mm. This person has a lot to heal from that has nothing to do with you. It has to do with relationships from their past that they holding on to, meaning emotional baggage, unhealed uh, emotions from past relationships that they haven't really released or forgiven, perhaps, that they holding on to that is affecting their connection with you yeah wow this is heavy let me see what's going on here and let's please show us <clears throat> what's going on currently with the soulmate of virgo yeah you see scared of your rejection scared of your judgment scared of people in your life that may not want to see them back in your life yeah, this person is absolutely determined to come towards you. Even though they're scared of your rejection, this is them trying to be very brave, to muster up the courage to approach you. Yeah, so what concerns me is that, yeah, they want so badly to reconcile with you, but they're showing up as emperor with seven of wands, which means that it's hard for them to admit uh, when they're wrong. They don't like to apologize. Um, they like to be alpha. They like to be in control. Um, yeah. So this person showing up as attractive, successful, respected by their peers. But in their personal relationship, for some reason, they showing up as struggling. Not communicating with the significant other. Not expressing emotions. Hiding how they truly feel. Um, hmm. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading, but we're going to ask about both soulmates since they both showed up. The one that just showed up as Emperor and earlier as Knight of Wands and the new one that showed up as King of Pentacles, new soulmate entering your life. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we're going to click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.